I'm running for re-election to the Somers Town Board as a town councilman. Okay. And how would you define the job description of a councilman? It's an interesting uh, question because um, it's, it's a multifaceted uh, position because it's strictly, if you just look at sort of the government structure, it is a legislative position, meaning that you vote on proposal of legislation, determine town ordinances and things like that. And so that's, you know, that's part of it. I think there's, there's three things you do with that. One is making sure that the, the daily organization of the town is done efficiently, as efficiently as the business would do it. So you always look for ways to cut money while increasing services. You can't always get that perfect combination, especially today. And that is certainly one of the challenges in front of any town. The second thing is you're responsible for, in my opinion, for long-term planning. Where are we going to go to five years and even further down the line? Do we have a plan for that in terms of capital facilities, in terms of our organization of the town itself, in terms of um, uh, finances, taxes, things like that, looking for alternative sources of energy. So you have to have that short-term and long-term uh, vision for it. And I think the third thing people look for government is, and has been obvious in the last week, is what happens when you have an unexpected uh, circumstance, a catastrophe, um, a difficult circumstance. How do you handle that? Because people look to government for those times, whether it be Washington or New York State or the county or the town, people look for that. So your job as a town board member, strictly speaking, is the legislative arm of town government, just as Congress, New York State Assembly, or the Senate would be, things like that. But the thing uh, that I find interesting and somewhat unexpected after four years is that you're a problem solver. And that's the part that I really like, is that people come to you with a specific problem, specific idea. And that's what town government is, is about. And one of the things I think that is really satisfying is that you can see the results of your efforts fairly quickly. And unlike where you might in Congress, you know, it's hard to see what's going on outside the country. In the town, if you need, let's say, for example, last summer uh, at Lake Lincolndale, I don't know if you're familiar with that, the parking lot's on one side of the street and the beach is on another. And that can get a little, especially if you have kids in the sun or you know, crossing. So uh, you put in speed bumps there to slow people up. I mean, it sounds like a small thing, but you just help people. And so those sorts of things are immediately gratifying. Uh, rather than the higher up you go in government, the less attached to the everyday uh, lives of people. So I think that that's the job description of, of, a, of a town councilman, sort of a, an ombudsman, a problem solver, a planner, uh, a legislator, and all those three good things. Okay. You've been doing that, you know, this is, you're coming to the end of your first term. Mm -hmm. What do you bring to the table as a councilman? I think I bring a lot of things to the table. One, I have a lot of experience uh, from being on school board for 12 years. So we're talking about looking at long-term facilities and renovation of town capital resources. I have a lot of experience with that via the schools. I know how those things work. We're looking at right now, uh, we have uh, uh, groups of highway pharma CSEA without contracts uh, having or having bargain on both sides of the table as a union president and uh, as a point of view of the school board. I understand bargaining, I understand how to get contracts that are fair to taxpayers and fair to the people who do the work every day at the town. Town boards come and go, but the people who work for the town are there all the time. Those are the people who really do the work. And so getting that right balance is something that I think uh, is, uh, is, a is, is, is a delicate balance. You have that experience in public contracts, and I have. So those are two specific things. I think in addition, uh, four years ago, I don't know if you follow me in town politics, there was a lot of arguing. People would watch town board to see who was uh, arguing with whom that night, and it was kind of like going to the, to, to the stop and shop over here and seeing a family arguing with each other. It's getting pretty good. Could you please just take that somewhere else? And uh, I promised four years ago uh, that I would bring a sense of conciliation. I think I have an ability to to listen uh, to people, to work with people. I know that's kind of a cliche, but if you look at all of the experience that I've had, which is really 16 years of summer, but really in a sense over 30 years of public experience, I don't think you find a person I work with who said that, that I, I can't do that. 
I think one of the keys in doing that in any level of government is you have to have some ideas. You have to have some large ideas, you have to have some short-term things, some long-term thinking. But with large ideas and some good thinking, you have to have a small ego. And sometimes that mix goes the other way in government. And I think that's when people have an intuitive feel that government isn't working right. So I promised that you know this would be we're, we're about solving problems like I said before and it doesn't matter who's in there your job is to work with them and to solve those problems and if you look at what's happened on the town board the focus has been over you know, the last four years and especially in the last year I think are really trying to focus you may differ on policy you may differ on why they should do this or that but what you can't argue with is that there's reasonable discussion and reasonable people can agree to disagree reasonably and respectfully. Because without that, you don't make progress. And I think that I'm pretty good at taking the politics out of it. Petty politics prevents progress, and especially on the local level. And I found that uh, even though I ran uh, uh, four years ago, I didn't know him, but Tom Gary comes in with the same feeling. So we developed, an, I think, an ability to listen to each other. And I would say with all the members of the town board and with the supervisor, I don't think anybody would deny that Somers uh, Town Board is, is working well. Our, our, our TV ratings are down. <laughs> if you want to see more fights, come on. <laughs> Where's Jerry Springer? But um, uh, I think that more work is getting, is getting done in a reasonable way. And we've, got a, and we've got a lot of work to do, of course. I mean, every town does, but especially now, in these circumstances with tightened taxes and everybody's got a hard time, we still have to make progress. And that really requires, I think, leaders who are experienced, uh, leaders who have uh, the temperament for it, to not be contentious, but to solve problems, not to argue about problems, and people who have um, uh, some ideas, some knowledge, some experience on these things. I think you need those, uh, those qualities to really advance. And so I think that I bring those uh, to the table, um, and that's, I would like to serve again, and I, I think just uh, on the selfish side, but I enjoy doing the work. And I enjoy it now more than ever. Uh, as you get involved in things, you develop trust on a town board. And no matter what group it is, whether it's in a, a newspaper, or whether it's in uh, a company, uh, whether it's in a sports team, whether it's in government, you have to trust the people so that uh, you, you're going forward together. You don't feel you're pulling separately. And uh, so I enjoy that very much. I enjoy it now more than ever. And I believe that I help in that along with other mates on the board. Everybody plays a role, everybody brings in knowledge, and the, the group, uh, the whole is, is greater than the sum of the parts. And that's when you have a good group that works together in anything. So somebody has this knowledge, somebody has that background, you put them together, you're going forward, and that's always the point. You kept uh, referring to your experience, your past experience. What is your professional experience? Well, yeah, uh, in education, uh, a teacher of government law and economics, specialized in macroeconomics uh, for 30 years. I've, Where? Uh, I've been uh, most recently for uh, the past couple of decades uh, in Katona, with John Jay High School. I taught in New York City, White Plains, Austin, I worked in Waltham, Massachusetts. I have a degree in political science from Hobart College and a master's degree in political science with a concentration in American studies from Boston College, and then I had some postgraduate uh, work at Fordham, at Western Connecticut, and, and at the College of Rochelle. And, and predominantly, it revolves around government work and government policy. That's, that's been the focus of my life. 